Okay, so I have a question for the lady. Let's say you meet the perfect guy. This guy is handsome, rich, successful. He pays 100% of the bills. So you can do what you want. You can work if you want to work, not work if you don't want to work. You're happy. Like this is the happiest you've ever been. One day you get a message from a girl. This girl met him randomly at a bar on one of his away trips. He took her home and slept with her, but it was just a one-time thing. And when you confront him about it, he apologizes, he admits to it. He says he's very happy in the relationship. He loves you, he wants to be with you. It was just a one-time thing. Now mind you, this guy, he can take care of you the rest of his life. Do you look past it and try to work through it or do you walk away? Welcome to The Fall Estate. I am Jesse Lee Peterson. Thank you so much for being with me. Remember, The Fall Estate is now on Locals.com. So click the link in the video description to support our work. And thank you in advance. I have with me Pearl Davis, better known as Just Pearly Things. Just Pearly Things. She is an... In, um, internet personality and content creator. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having me. Amazing. So you came a long way from England. Yeah, London. London. Mm -hmm. Amazing. How is it in London now? Um, in terms of what? Like, don't they have like a lot of uh, Allah U Abba people? Like a lot of Muslims and yeah, where the I crime live. going through the roof and yeah, things yeah. like that? Yeah, there's a lot of Muslim people where I live. Um, a lot of people will say it's like very dangerous here. I've never really had a problem. Like, Over there or here? Oh, no, people here will like say that London's super dangerous. Right. But I've never really had an issue. It might be, but not to me. <laughs> there are certain neighborhoods you can't go into, though, right? Yeah, I live in the hood, though, so I was like... You live in the hood? Yeah, I do, I do, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and what's the hood considered over there? What is called the Is it like over here? No, I would say the ones here are probably worse. Yeah. It's not, not great, though, yeah. Right. <laughs> and so you call just pearly things. What is your podcast about? What do uh, you deal with? Um, so I would say the main thing that my show blew up for was I read Pell Women. So it's like there's certain truths about the world that like, I think especially women, we believe like the pay gap or like um, certain views about like feminism. And I tell them that none of those are true. Oh, and you I do? Show, yeah. So I'll show them like content like Jordan Peterson and like we'll react. Right. And then um, I also humble women on my show at times. You humble them? Yeah, I humble them. How? Well, they'll be like, I'm a 10, and I'll be like, ah, you're like a 6 <laughs> on a good day. <laughs> <laughs> is it easy to humble them? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, because they're delusional a lot. They're delusional? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and do you tell them they're delusional? Yes. And do they get upset? Yes. yes yeah. Yeah. And you okay with that? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Amazing. I I uh, it, I read I believe that you're real popular with the blacks. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. Is, is that true? Um. Yeah. Yeah. I guess. I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And so I saw. <laughs> I have seen some of the interviews where you're talking to the blacks. Uh -huh. Are you afraid to deal with them? No. Because no. most white people are afraid to deal, be honest with the blacks. No. Because no. they don't want to be called racist. They don't know how to deal with the attitude. Well, I mean, I still, I talk mostly about like feminism. Oh, I see. So I would say the people that are the maddest are usually the women. Yeah. 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 I have, I have been um, whale attacked. Whale, what does that mean? Yeah. So like a land whale, like a fat chick. Yeah, oh. she like tried to attack me. <laughs> <laughs> so, do, yeah. do they they get angry for you calling yeah. her fat? Yeah. Well, I didn't even call her fat. We were talking about something else. I called her fat after she called me a slag. No, and I didn't call her fat. I called her a whale. But that's just that's a beautiful, majestic creature in the sea. So like, what what am I supposed to? Yeah. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, like I should apologize to the whales in the sea. That's how I feel about it. Whoa. <laughs> And when you say attack, be verbally or did she physically attack? Well, she, it was like I was doing interviews. And what we were talking about is safety, right? 
And she was saying like, oh, boo-hoo, my life is so hard. I can't walk home alone at night. And I'm like, neither can the men. Yeah. Nobody, why would, you, why would you walk? That's what I said. I'm like, why are you in a big city walking home alone at night? That just doesn't, right. that that doesn't, doesn't make sense. I'm like, guys can't do that either. Yeah. And at least as a girl, like, you get protected because I'm sorry, if a dude's getting attacked and I'm getting attacked, it's more likely that the guy's going to come, like other guys will protect me. And she demonstrated this firsthand because as soon as I said this, she's like, I'll have you, I'll have you, you slag. And which I didn't know what it meant at the time, but I knew I was being insulted. Right. And, <laughs> and so she knocks the mic out of my hand. Wow. And yeah, and then she tries to attack me, but I was with guys, right? And so they pulled her, you know, and then she was like swearing at me and I was like, you're a whale, you're a whale. <laughs> and we're dropping whale merch this month, so you know. Wow. <laughs> and so was that a black woman did that? No, it's a white lady. A white lady? Yeah. Um, that's amazing. Yeah, whales come in lots of shapes and sizes. Yeah, and they colors. do. Yeah. W so she called you a what? A whale. Or, no, uh, I called her a whale. Sorry, uh, she called me a slag. What's a sly? A slag. A slag. It's like a British term, so it means a whore, basically. Oh. I, didn't, I didn't know what it meant oh, at the time, that. but I was like, I'm being insulted. I know I'm being insulted. Yeah. <laughs> so I called her a whale, but I, if anything, what I said was factual. Yeah, and then they banned my TikTok because of this clip. <sighs> Sad. Oh, they did? Yeah, I almost had a million followers on TikTok. Wow. I know. Did uh, they bring you back? Oh, mm -hmm. you? Uh, no, I made another account though, so I just make oh. another account after they take it away. Oh, <laughs> you can't get rid of me off this app. That's nah. right. <laughs> and would your the people that follow you would they go to your new account? Yeah, yeah. Oh, they would. Yeah. That's amazing. Not a million. I I haven't made it that back, but yeah. <laughs> And so, um, so you're a red pill now. Yeah. And red pill is what exactly? Um, it's basically like you see the world, like I've never actually seen the movie The Matrix, but it's an analogy from The Matrix, oh, okay. which is basically like you see the world for what it is instead of like what you thought it was essentially. So like, it's kind of like blue pill is, you know, you think the pay gap exists, which right. I mean, it does, but not, you, you, I'm sure, yeah, you, yeah, you know, right. not that, for the reasons that right. like, they say, right. Absolutely. And, um, another thing is like women um, as well. Like a lot of times women will say they like nice guys and like, no, we don't, you know. Right. <laughs> so, they hate nice guys. Yeah, they hate it. We hate yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> We'd rather. <laughs> give me an example. Oh, let me, I want to give me an example of a nice guy. Um, it's kind of like a guy without a backbone that like puts a girl on a pedestal. I think of like Sierra, or, like um, Russell Wilson and Sierra. Oh, okay. Like who, who did she really want, Russell or Future? You know. Amazing. So have you always been red pill? No. And well, how, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Yeah. Meaning what? Um, I would say I grew up like more conservative, uh. but the dating stuff I didn't really like think about as much. So I think I'm like, as a woman, on an innate level, we like kind of know these things, but you don't really like verbalize it. You right. Know? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And so, so you were sort of red pill. Yeah. And then at point, what made you cross all the way over to red pill? Well, oh, I'll tell you why. It was Kevin Samuels was what kind of started to red pill me because <laughs> they were talking about high value men, right? And they were saying like all high value men cheat. And I was so confused because my dad's a high, like, like, because they listed out the, like, the things that they have to be. And it was like my dad was all of them except LinkedIn because my dad doesn't have social media. But they, they said, um, all high value men cheat and have mistresses. So I called my dad. I'm like, where are your hoes? Dad, they said you got to have hoes. <laughs> and, and, and so I, that's when I started watching, which, but then, um, yeah, then I just started watching the content. And I was like, oh, this is interesting. I even went to like a pickup artist boot camp where like they teach guys how to get laid. It was really interesting. Whoa. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And so um, a high value, value man is a man with a lot of women. Yeah, apparently, yeah. Really? Yeah. But he has to have money and things like that too, right? Or yeah, off the top of my head, I could, it's like he has to make over $10,000 a month. He has to um, have a network of other high value men. Like men have to, like other men have to accept him as part of the group. He has to be useful to the group. Uh, there's like five pillars and I can't remember the other two. Right. They're gonna roast me because I, I never can list them off the top of my head. <laughs> oh, LinkedIn level visibility and I forgot what the fifth one. But, That's amazing. Yeah. I noticed that uh, millennials don't seem to care about the character of the person. Mm -hmm. They don't care about what's inside. They just seem to 
be shallow and care about what's on the outside, how much money you have, mm -hmm. where you live, who your friends are. Mm -hmm. Is that true? Yes. And why is that? How did it become that way? It wasn't always that way. Well, it was because before, um, it was birth control. That's what I think started everything, was because that's when, if you look at the divorce rate and the rate of women on birth control, they're like the same. Yeah. And so what I think it was is basically the hose. What did birth control give you? Hose. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so before, like, women had to prioritize a guy that had good character and would stick around, right? right? But then when you yeah. give them birth control, it gives them the opportunity to sleep with, like, for, for shallow things, yeah. right? And the problem is that um, women are we're bailed out for every bad decision we make. Yeah. So it's like if we if we sleep around, there's birth control. If we if birth control fails, there's abortion, child support, and divorce court, and al even alimony. I'm like, you get money for just being married to him? I know. Shut up, get a job. Yeah. And, <laughs> and then um, on top of that, if we're bad with our money, like there's there's a lot of government bailout programs. Like in the UK, they give you free housing if you're a single mother. If you pay Whoa. women, yeah. If 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 you pay women to, I think men and women can be equally shitty. They but women are paid to be bad, so of course we're going to be worse. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. They're starting to do that here, too. Give them free houses, free health care, everything. Yeah, and it's like, okay, I'm I'm 25, and I have no kids, and so, like, why aren't I rewarded? Why do they get rewarded right. for making the bad decision? I know. And I, I have no children, so good is pay, called, pay me to be. <laughs> good is called bad, bad called evil. Yeah. Um, so you do you just deal with women issues? Um, or do you t talk to men as well? No, I have both on my show. So oh. I'll just bring in, so I do a live show four times a week in a studio, kind of similar to this with right. no stage though. Uh -huh. But it's just in my living room. Right. But oh, what, <laughs> oh, amazing. Yeah, but what I do is um, we bring in between like five to ten guys and girls and we'll talk about like different topics. Sometimes it's things like the pay gap. Other times it's things like... You know, can modern women be saved? Can you turn a hoe into a housewife? Like that sort of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Um, um, so can you turn a whore into a housewife? Well, of course not. You cannot. Well, okay, this is my, my theory. It happens sometimes. Yeah. But they always go back to the streets. Yeah. The streets be calling. So like they might, they might get it for a little bit, but they'll just divorce them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tell men that that want to start a family, uh -huh. that they should not marry an educated woman who doesn't want to stay home and be a, a, a wife and a mother mm -hmm. because she would not mate for a good mother. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? No, you're right. I'm right. Yeah. Um, why, why do you, you think men, go Sorry, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. Why would you not want to spend time with your children? Right. That, that's kind of a bad mom if you don't want to spend time with your kids. I know. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they prefer to go out and pretend to be a man than to raise to stay home with the kids. Yeah, yeah. What a mess. Why would why do men marry women like that? Well, they don't have options. Like because we one in three men are under thirty are either virgins or haven't had sex in the past year. So it's like there's a growing <laughs> there's a growing number of simps. There's a simp ep epidemic. Yeah. <laughs> and it's because like they don't think they can do better. That's my my opinion on it anyway. But the option is they don't have to get married. Yeah. And it's not like you gotta gotta get married. Yeah, but. There's kind of there's a saying in Red Pill, which is like they always get married. Even the guys that say that they'll never get married, yeah. they always get married. And it's kind of like I don't know. I think I think men are more romantic than women. <laughs> like I think they just want a family and a wife. Right, they so, do. And so it's like if if they can't get the girls they want, they kind of just take what they can get. Yeah. Or women will die alone, but yeah, I know men will more like eh. Yeah, they want a family. Yeah, I'll take uh, the used Honda Civic with a lot of miles, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of miles. <laughs> That's right. What is a uh, so red pill, and then the other one is blue pill. Yeah. Or black pill. Well, there's a couple. Um, blue pill is like guys that aren't aware of these things. So, like for example, like someone that's blue pill might marry a single mother. That, like that's that's kind of like something someone blue pill oh. would do, because they're told like that's the right thing to do. What a mess. Yeah, mess. Yeah. What someone a mess. where someone red pill would say, ah, no, no. You're, you're for recreational use only. Right. <laughs> and black pill is usually guys that are black pill believe everything starts with looks, so they they're very much like if you're short, it may not be over, but it's close to over for you. So really? Like if you're five two, five three, it's like ah. Wow. Good luck. <laughs> Who come up with all these ideas? How do these things come about? Red pill, blue pill. 
That's a good question. Black um, pill. I don't. I don't know who started Black Pill. There's MGTOW too, which is men yeah. going their own way. So right. they, they're I'm just talking like. To him. Yeah, they're, they're like, yeah, fuck these hoes. Leave them in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> um, but <laughs> um, my favorite, I, I'm a big fan of Rolo Tomasi. Um, I, I don't think he would say that he started it. I think there was one or two before him. Um, oh, okay. They say Patrice O'Neill, while he wasn't like a typical like red pillar, but a lot of the ideas like kind of were in his jokes. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um... Women, this uh, this group go go your own way, right? Women or men? Men. Uh, yeah. Men going their own way. Yes. Their own way. Women need men to guide them, right? Mm -hmm. And so, is that a good idea to just because you failed at it a couple of times, should you get it right or walk away from women? Uh, men. Yeah. Um. I understand why men are walking away from marriage. Yeah. Um, I, I don't necessarily, I wouldn't say that you should walk away from women altogether. Like, at least, I mean, recreational, what are you going to, okay, I just feel like, you know. Like, <laughs> when you say recreational, you mean like for sex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of, I don't know. <laughs> I'm just, it's probably better than just being by yourself. Oh, I see. But I understand, like, why men are walking away from marriage because yeah. they get a bad deal. And that's, that's like one thing I didn't, when I first started watching Red Pill content, I was like, I grew up in a two parent household and my parents are still married. So I never understood like why men would walk away from marriage right. until I realized it's like a contract that women are paid to leave. Yeah. And which you can year? take half of his earnings, which doesn't even make sense. Like, why are you entitled to half of the money that he made? Yeah. And you don't even have kids. And so, and on top of that, like, the average age of first marriage in the UK is 31. Here it's, like, 28 for women. And so men value purity and youth, and they don't get either of those things yeah. from women today. So it's like... What a mess. Yeah, yeah. I, I understand why, you know. It's like city girl culture. Um, yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Um, men they don't seem to be as strong today as they were in the good old days. Mm -hmm. What happened to them? They listened to women. Stop yeah. it. We don't know what we want. <laughs> yeah. No. Exactly. I tell them all the time, every time you listen to the woman, you suffer. <laughs> and I also, I've heard testosterone levels are like lower than ever before. Yeah, I heard that, yeah. Um, so I don't know if it's something with like the food or lifestyle or what exactly it is, but... Yeah, I would say that's part of it, too. But, that's amazing. Yeah. So you were raised by both parents. Yes. And, um, and so you ended up in, you're now living in? London. London. Yes. You went there to play ball. Yes. Volleyball, volleyball right? Yes. Did you, are you still playing ball over there? Yes. yes. Oh, you are still playing? Yes. Will you, once you're done, will you stay there, or you just, will you come back to this country? I would like to come back. I was just thinking about this the other day. It's going to be so much work to move, but I'll probably move to, like, Nashville or Miami. I oh, think, okay. Or, like, Florida, just because my parents have a house in Florida. Oh, they do? Yeah, and the taxes are too high in Chicago. Can't and go there. plus crime is yeah. out of control there. Yeah. Are your parents concerned about that, the crime? That not, where, not where we live. We're in the, like, we're, like, an hour from the city. It's oh. Not, yeah. oh, okay. Good. <laughs> That's amazing. So... You might come back here to this country to live. Mm -hmm. Do you miss this country? England is so similar. Like, honestly, I forget I'm in England sometimes. Really? Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's kind of the same. The, the buildings are older. The architecture is a little bit cooler. But yeah, I like there's that. There's accents, but it's, it's still wet, the West. Yeah. You, know? you know your way around yeah. over there? Yeah. Really? Yeah, the transportation system's a lot better, but it's similar. It reminds me of New York. I think those cities are kind of similar. Oh, okay. London and New York. That's amazing. So are you a Christian? Uh, I, <laughs> sort of, sort of. Sort of? Yeah. <laughs> What's sort not, of a Christian? Well, I feel like there's, like, a group of people that, like, would be pretty religious, but we, like... I, there's just a lot of issues I see in the church where like feminism has kind of overtaken the church yeah. and yeah I just feel like there's kind of like a group of us that don't really have anywhere to like call home because yeah. there's not really churches that represent us but I think that's also an excuse that bad Christians say so I was like maybe I'm just not a good Christian <laughs> <laughs> well I never understood it and, and I'm starting to ask people when I ask are you a Christian most people would say well, yeah, but I don't go to church. Mm -hmm. Or no, because of 
the churches are bad. Mm -hmm. I don't understand what does the church have to do with the individual being mm -hmm. a Christian or not. Mm -hmm. Because the church is just a place where you go mm -hmm. to fellowship, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't have anything to do with the individual. I'm just, I'm so, you don't understand. I'm so opinionated in the churches. They can't handle me. Oh. They can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's see. like it's like when they talk about these born-again virgins. I'm like, don't accept that, man. Stop <laughs> accepting these bad deals. <laughs> Why are you waiting for a used car? Like, they can't handle me in church. So you would say that in <gasps> church? Yeah, yeah, I mean, not like in front of everybody, but right. it's like after church, I'm like, why is he saying that? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I know, I should... <laughs> No, you should speak up. You have to yeah. it. And it's like, yeah, because it's like, why are you telling? Me? And then you have these like celibate girls in the church where I'm like, good luck selling that used car with like 20,000 miles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell them, wait till I'm there. Okay. <laughs> a lot of men go to church to look for a woman. And yeah. then they end up getting the same thing if they had yeah. not gone to church. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Um, why do... Um, why do church members put the, the preacher or pastor, whatever it may be, mm -hmm. on a pedestal rather than just seeing them as another person who is mm -hmm. teaching the Bible or whatever he's doing? Mm -hmm. Why are they automatically put on a pedestal? Well, it's kind of like... It's kind of like I think of it as like a coach. You know what I mean? Like if I have a volleyball coach and then I see her play volleyball and I'm like oh my God, you're absolute trash. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, I, I might say, oh, well, they're just, they're telling you the right things, but right. it's kind of like, well, I don't really want to play for this team if the coach is trash. Oh. That's how I would describe it. Really? Yeah. But the coach have to deal with the same temptations in life that you or yeah. anyone else. Yeah. They're not like, uh, protected from those temptations. Yeah, just, but you just think after 20, 30 years, you'd have some skill. <laughs> like, if, if you're like 50, 60, and you're the path of the preacher, and then it's like you have no, you have no skills built up, none. Yeah. They're like, they're partying, drinking, smoke. I mean, I'm not, There's it's a stereotype for a reason, right? Right. And so then they're like, well, what skills are you teaching here? Clearly not good ones if you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not saying, like, I understand, like, it's probably just an excuse to be a bad, like, you know, to not practice or whatever, but and that's just how I see it. And so you, because of those things, you're not sure if you're a Christian or like, you're halfway there? Or yeah, well, I did 12 years of Catholic school. And so then I did two years of Bible study in like a Christian church. Right. So I haven't practiced in probably like a year and a half, two years. But I, I know a decent amount about like the Bible. And I, right. so I have a religious like foundation. What is it when you say practice it? Uh -huh. What is that? How do you practice that? Like go to church every Sunday. Oh, go to church. I go to church every like... In two months. I feel like that's not a good. I feel like that's not enough. Oh yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's not. <laughs> How important is it to go to church? Um, depends what church. Some churches will probably leave you off worse. <laughs> but um, I, I think it's important. I just, that's why I feel weird, like, saying I'm a Christian if you're not practicing. Because I feel like, how are you going to claim something if you're not going regularly? Amazing. Yeah. And so, in order to be a Christian, yeah. you believe that you should at least go to church. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I think so. I haven't thought about it that in depth, but right. yeah, that's, that's Be why I'm hesitant to say. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. Because our bodies are the temple, uh -huh. really. Our bodies are the mm -hmm. church. Mm -hmm. And the only reason to go to church, if you want to fellowship, mm -hmm. you know, learn something, mm -hmm. you know, a little bit more than what you know, I guess. Yeah. But our bodies, really, wherever we are, the church is there. Mm -hmm. you, you know what I mean? Mm hmm but I know a lot of people have been taught and trained that they have to go to church. Mm -hmm. If you don't go to church, because I notice that when I go home to visit, mm -hmm. first thing they want to know is what church you go to, right? Mm -hmm. And I just, I, it's nice to go to church, but mm -hmm. it's not a must. Yeah, I feel like lazy Christians say that. And I'm one of them, so. That is not a must that you go to church? <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's just like a lazy Christian thing to say. <laughs> I'm one of them, don't get me wrong. <laughs> yeah. Do you, uh, and so, do you believe that human beings are in a fallen state? The show is called The Fallen State. Oh, is that where it comes from? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Well, what do you mean by fallen state? Falling away from God. Oh, yes, yes, that's 
I mean, I think if you 200 years ago, were we more aligned with God in yeah. terms of morals or now? I would say 200 years ago. Yeah. I noticed that, I don't know if you have, but that Christianity is the most hated religion. It, it's always under attack more than any other religion. More than Jewish? I feel like they're like... Christianity and Jewish? Yeah. Judaism. Um, why do you think... Ju why do you think Judaism is under attack equal to Christianity? I mean, the Holocaust. The what? The Holocaust. Oh, the Holocaust. Yeah. That oh, was, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so but I, I, I do. I, I know that there are a lot of people who hate mm -hmm. Judaism. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. And they blame the Christians. I mean, the Jews for everything. Mm -hmm. But it seems as though everybody is going against Christianity. Yeah. Unless a, you don't see it that way. No, I mean, I do think people are against Christianity. I'm not super, like, well-versed in, like... Oh, I see. <laughs> but um, why do I think that is? I don't know. I just think... I think people live horrible lives and miserable, misery loves company. It's yeah. kind of like... Yeah. It's kind of like the fat chicks, the whales, when they're <laughs> like... <laughs> when they're like, oh, you can eat whatever you want. You look great, sis. Right. Nashi, don't. Get on the treadmill. That's right. Come on, Becky, get on the treadmill. <laughs> Why is it so hard for women to accept the truth about themselves? Why? Yeah. I think no one tells us the truth. Yeah. Yeah, like from a young age, you're told you should be treated like a queen from a guy. Yeah. Why do you deserve that? You're just a regular, you're like a five. That's amazing. Yeah, if you're, if you're an eight, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you're like a five, six. Like, why do you think you deserve princess treatment? And then... <laughs> And you're, and you're not a virgin? Okay, you want to be courted like one? Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, that is so true. But I, what I don't understand, men are afraid to tell them the truth, and women don't want to hear the truth. What do they want? Women? Uh -huh. They don't even know. We don't know. Um, <laughs> um, I mean, women want the top, like, 10% of men to like them. And so... To that, cater to them. Yeah, yeah. So they want... The, it's like when they say, I like, I like a nice guy. They're talking about that guy that's like kind of like he's not nice and they like him and they're like, well, if he'd be a little nicer to me, like that's what they're talking about. <laughs> they're not talking about you, Brad. <laughs> like, <laughs> do, so you do work you, at McDonald's. Like she's not, you could, you could be a little bit meaner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. What type of man do you, do you date a lot? Do I date a lot? Yeah. I mean, I date. You date. Yeah. And what do you look for in a, when you're dating? What are, what type of man man you date? Um, I like guys that I I can't date liberals. I can't yeah, do it. I if can he's, imagine. If he's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, I like guys that have leadership qualities. Um, and I would say he's conservative and have similar like values. I would say. You um, you seem so confident. Are men are intimidated around you? No. They're not afraid of you? I don't, I don't think men are. I think that's just an excuse, like women say, when like men don't like them. Right. They're like, oh, they're intimidated by me. No, no, you're just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. No, are you, no, an average guy can beat you up. I promise he's not intimidated by you. But it seems as though the average guy is afraid to just be himself around a woman. Mm. Like, he'll put on a, a front mm -hmm. instead of just being himself. You know, he'll act one way around mm -hmm. guys, he'll be himself, mm -hmm. say what he wants, whatever, but when he's with a woman, mm -hmm. he put on, most of the time, not all, not all, but like a nice personality in order to get the woman to like him. Oh, yeah, because they try to, like, be what women want, but it's not what they want. Right. So, yeah, I would say that happens. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like on my show. It's funny, because sometimes guys will say things to me, and I'll be like more like feministy, and they think that I'll like it because they don't know me, you know. Right. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I'm like, oh, stop it, I gotta go. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> you, you would tell them that, or you just say it to yourself? Uh, it depends where am I at. It, it depends how. It, like, if I go on a date and it's the beginning of the date, I'll probably just ride this thing out. Like, I'll probably <laughs> just be quiet and never, yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> On a date, speaking of dating, mm -hmm. should the man pay or the woman? The, the man. The man. Yeah. And, and why is that? Um, 
I, I just think like most girls won't respect you if you don't pay, if you're trying to split it. But honestly, like a lot of girls, you don't even have to take on dates. Ask her girlfriend. Right. I know. <laughs> if she likes you enough, she'll go on a walk. You don't have to pay any money. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, you don't have to spend any money. <laughs> How about if, if, if the woman invite the man out to dinner, should she pay then? Um, she should offer. She yeah. should, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Um, I don't really have strong opinions on it. Like, well, you know, yeah. Where are you when it comes to politics? Do you, um, are you more conservative in politics as well? Yeah, I'm like really conservative. Oh yeah? Probably like too much. My well, dad says I take things too far. Oh yeah? <laughs> yeah. Are you more like your father or your mother when it comes to things like that? Oh, both, but I would, they're both pretty conservative, but I'd say my dad's slightly more conservative and I'm even more conservative than my dad. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, like my dad believes in child support. I'm like, cut it, cut it, none, naski, nada. <laughs> yeah, you made your bed, lie in it, stop it. <laughs> That's right, amazing. Yeah. So your father had, and mother being conservative had an influence on you as far as politics. Yeah, because if I take a personality test, it says I'm super left, actually. Like um, the Jordan Peterson, like understand myself test or whatever. Right. It says like you have a 97% chance of being liberal. But luckily my dad, anytime I like started to go that way, he would just explain it to me. Right on. So, yeah. Nice. Where, how, did, who do you think of the great white hope? What's that? Donald Trump. <laughs> 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 you call him the great white hope? <laughs> Why? <laughs> he was hilarious. Oh my gosh, I miss him. I miss his tweets. Yeah. I, yeah, I mean, I don't have like, I'm not like a diehard like Trump fan, but I thought he was a good president. I thought, and I, I look at him as an entertainer and oh my God, he was so funny. He was so funny. <laughs> Do you agree with me? And you don't have to, of course, you know that. Uh -huh. That he was the greatest president so far? Oh gosh, um, one of them, I would say. I don't know enough about every single president to like uh, Yeah, I mean, you know, the one. In like, my lifetime, like, I would Right. Say. In my lifetime, yes. Like the, you know, the fallen messiah. You know who the fallen messiah is, right? No. Barack Obama. <laughs> no, you call him the fallen messiah. <laughs> and the reason for that, because when he first ran, the black was like, oh, he's sent by God. <laughs> he's sent by God. And then when he disappointed them, all of a sudden he fell. You know, now he's the fallen messiah. I was pretty young when all that happened. Oh, you were? <laughs> yeah, I think I was in eighth grade when he got elected, so I wasn't. Really? <laughs> no one was calling him the messiah at my school, but we were in, you know, I was right. like 12. Right. So it wasn't. <laughs> and so did you vote for the Great White Hope? The, so I didn't vote the first time around because well, I wasn't that, like, I didn't really have a strong opinion either way. Right. Second time around, I did, yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Do you think he'll come back again? He's getting kind of old. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hope so, but I think he could do it. It's just like, how old is he? He's like almost 80 now, isn't he? I think he's, in, he's like 73, 74, 75, somewhere in there. Yeah, I mean... Just like eight years, it's like, or no, another four years. Yeah. 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 If, if, you know, he's healthy and stuff, yeah. If ever we, I mean, if ever we needed him, we need him now. Yeah, yeah, I think Are so. Are you surprised I call him the Great White Hope? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was not expecting that name. <laughs> <laughs> you never heard me say that before? <laughs> no. So you are, uh, how do you feel when you're attacked online by the feminists and people like that? I think it's funny. I think of them as children, actually. Yeah. Oh, you think of the feminists as that? Yeah, they're mostly whales. That's like the biggest one I get. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's a clip of me going around where I say no one looks good at 300 pounds, and then it's like all these whales showing me their blubber, and I'm like, oh, God, stop it. Ah, oh, my eyes. I know. <laughs> they, for some reason, they're trying to make fat popular. Yeah. And so when you see these commercials and things, you see these women with just a bra on and underclothes, you know, mm -hmm. but, and they be just fat just everywhere. Mm -hmm. And they're trying to make it be attractive and make you accept it. Mm -hmm. Isn't that a mess? Rather than making the women lose weight, they say, okay, you can see it. Treadmill's that. right there. Yeah. It's like, it's like you, can, you can run outside. <laughs> Plus it's not even healthy. 
No, it's not. And it's not healthy to be overweight like that. Yeah, I've actually lost friends for my fat comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, because the other thing girls will do is they'll get a ring and then they'll get fat. Yeah. Because now he's in a contract, he can't leave. <laughs> Like where she and she's paid to leave. Yeah. And then then they'll lose the weight after they divorce him. It's like, well, maybe if you maybe if you got on the treadmill before, y'all could have worked it out. <laughs> but it's like that's right. And I think that's wrong. I say you can leave her. You can leave her if she gets fat. I don't. There you go. Do you? What do you think about abortion? Are you in support of abortion? No, I don't believe in abortion. At any point? No, no, yeah. never. Are you attacked for that belief? Oh yeah, yeah. I had a, I had a sign in London where I said abortion is a cop out, and yeah, people were not happy. Wow, I love that yeah, abortion yeah. cop out. Because forty percent of is. women that get abortions get two or more. So yeah. you guys are just, y'all are just hoes at that point. Like your, your womb is basically a graveyard. Yeah. Like stop it. That is so. That is so trash. Yeah, I'm counseling with a woman. You're right about that. It is a graveyard. Yeah. I'm like, two or more? And then you don't know out of the 60% how many will get them in the future. Yeah. Like, we have 41 forms of birth control. Why are you getting pregnant? Why are you, like, this is the dumbest. I, I don't, yeah. I know, I'm counseling with a woman right now. She, she had eight abortions. And she's 20. She just turned 20. 20? Yeah. I'm, I'm like, that future, she belongs to the streets. Yeah. Like, you can't. And that was, she did it because all her life she's heard that abortion is fine, it's, mm -hmm. not, a, it's not a baby, mm -hmm. uh, and it was okay to do it. Mm -hmm. And then they offer these birth control, these are morning after pills. Mm -hmm. So she literally thought it was okay. She just mm -hmm. believed into a lie. Mm -hmm. And now that she's 20, she's thinking about what she's done, mm -hmm. and she's depressed, suicidal, mm -hmm. hate herself for it. Mm -hmm. But she was told that. Mm -hmm. Isn't that amazing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm a little less sympathetic. Because I'm just like, what do you mean you were told that? You didn't Google it before you got the procedure done? <laughs> like, stop it. I just I just think sometimes girls will do that when they want sympathy after. Like, I don't. Oh, I see. I don't really, I, I'm not, you're probably a little more sympathetic than me. I'm just like, well, of well, course it's a child. Like, what, yeah. you didn't Google it before you did it? Yeah. Like, that's on you. And the other thing is my mom actually got pregnant when she was a teenager. So I had a brother I found out about when I was 22. Um, she was, it was by my dad, like, same. Like, oh, okay. But, but they were, like, young, so they gave him up for adoption. Really? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so you, you know your brother now? Mm -hmm. And yeah. are you guys close as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, they put them up for adoption. Mm -hmm. Yeah, during the good old days, before they would kill the baby in the womb, they would put, have the baby mm -hmm. and put it up for adoption. Mm -hmm. I want the good old days back. Mm -hmm. um, where do you stand when it comes to the race issue? Do you believe racism exists? Yeah. You do? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have, uh, and why do you believe that? because racist things happen sometimes. So. Like what, for example? Like what? Um, I mean, do I think by and large it's common? No, but wasn't there just a shooting that was like over racism? Like there was a guy who like shot up a church because... Oh, some years ago. Yeah. He went there, apparently shot some black, some blacks. Yeah, yeah, and he was, I mean, I think it's like silly to say racism doesn't exist at all, but do I think like by and large most of America is racist? No. Yeah. But that, uh, I believe his name was Dylan something, Dylan Roof. Mm -hmm. But he went, uh, uh, according to some of the reports, mm -hmm. he did it because white people picked on, they're the most, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. especially white Christian men, they're the mm -hmm. most hated species mm -hmm. on this side of heaven. Mm -hmm. And so white people, uh, especially white men, are blamed for everything. Oh, every, that's and, another form of racism. Yeah, and yeah. when he found that out, it made him angry because he had black friends. Mm -hmm. And just that made him angry, and that's why he did it. Mm -hmm. That was some of the report. Mm -hmm. But of course, the, the people who love to push racism say he did it because of racism. Mm -hmm. I say that racism doesn't exist, mm -hmm. and it never existed. Mm -hmm. It's just a made-up word mm -hmm. in order to deceive and control the people. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's either it's good or evil, right or wrong. Mm -hmm. It's not about the color. Mm -hmm. It's about the spirit of the person or mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. So I don't believe racism is this. Mm -hmm. There are people on the side of evil. There are those who are on the side of good. Mm -hmm. What do you guys say to that? Maybe you could spin it that way. 
<laughs> I, I mean, I think like there's individual instances of racism. I, I don't think it's like by and large America's racist, but I mean, you can even argue that like racism, like there's racism against straight white men, you know, but and sexism. So yeah, but I don't, I don't really have like a strong opinion on it. Do you think that if people was not of anger, if they was not of hate, would they ever want to kill their neighbors, kill someone? If they're of love, except for protection, would they, or, or you know, self defense? People were of love. Yeah, would they want to just kill somebody because of their color? No. And so that's the proof then. Mm -hmm. It's because of the hatred mm -hmm. of the heart. Mm -hmm. What do you say to that? Well, if they hate one group, wouldn't it be racist? <laughs> Like, if they're killing someone because they're black or because they're white, like, wouldn't that be racist? But in all honesty, people don't kill just because of your color. Uh, yeah. Yeah, probably not. You know, they, there's a, uh, they have another reason for it. Like, let's say that we all know that most black people hate white people today. Mm -hmm. And they are blaming whites for everything. They're attacking mm -hmm. white people. They're raping them. It's always their first response to me. It's like, you're white and privileged. Yeah. <laughs> Whenever yeah. I say anything. Yeah. <gasps> and so if a black person is doing that, <clears throat> and you get angry at them for doing that, mm -hmm. it is that anger that will cause you to want to hurt them. Mm -hmm. So it's not just because of their color. OK. Yeah, I could see that. You do? Yeah, I could see it. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's either good or evil. Yeah. I mean, I think it's just another way of like saying the same thing, but yeah. <laughs> but when you say racism, it looked like it's happening just because of your color. Yeah. Not because of any other reason. Oh, okay. Okay. And that's not true. Mm -hmm. It's just not true. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, when I was growing up, you didn't even hear the word racism mm -hmm. because really? it didn't exist. Yeah. And I grew up in Alabama on a plantation mm -hmm. uh, during the Jim Crow era, mm -hmm. but we never heard the word racism at all. Mm -hmm. Well, it, would you say it's because of like race hustlers? Like the people that like make money out, yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. It's they like, made that word up yeah. to be race hustlers. Yeah, there's like, it's like race hustlers. I probably environment hustlers. I don't know much about the environment, but environment it's like, the, it's, a, it's the same too. pattern. It so is. that's why I'm like, I. I and then there's femi there's violence against women hustlers. That's yes. the other thing. It has to be like women are the ones that are like super oppressed because I think there's like funding and yeah. violence against women. Yeah. Yeah. Follow the money. Yeah. It's about power, perceived power, and mm -hmm. money. Mm -hmm. And they come up with all these different terms like racism, mm -hmm. something to make you feel like a victim, mm -hmm. and now they can use you to make mm -hmm. money and maintain power for themselves. Yeah, that's what I would tell the, the girls. I'm like, stop it. Any girl that says she can't get ahead because she's a woman is just lazy. Lazy. Yeah. You're just lazy. Get a job. Get a job. <laughs> I'm like, as a young, pretty girl, you have more opportunity than the men. Stop yeah. it. Stop it. What do you think about uh, men who allow women to beat on them? I just smack them, curse them oh, out. Equal rights, equal lefts, baby. And I know <laughs> the conservatives will not agree with me on this one, but if she hits you, hit back. Stop yeah. it. Stop it. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I, used to, I used to think never hit a woman. Okay, I used to believe this. Really? Yeah. And then, but it was because I, where I grew up, if anyone hit a girl, like a girl hit a guy, I'd be like, eh, hey, you know, and so I'm like, okay. But I saw the punches that these bitches be throwing. I'm like, <laughs> If you want to hit like a dude, expect to get hit like a dude That's because right. you don't you don't go up to Dwayne the Rock Johnson yeah. and punch him. If you got punched back, no one would feel bad for you. But these girls will punch a dude, and then if he hits back, everyone's mad. It's like she hit him first. Plus, there are laws that says that men cannot defend himself from a woman. There's laws. Yeah, if a man should hit a woman, he's going to jail right away. Stop. Even if the woman called the cop and said, "Oh." My husband or my boyfriend just beat me, right? Mm -hmm. Or he hit me. Mm -hmm. And she made it up. It wasn't even true. So the cops go out to the house, mm -hmm. and the lady said, oh, it really didn't happen. Mm -hmm. I changed my mind. It didn't happen. They arrest the guy anyway. Mm -hmm. Well, there's, like, patterns. Doing the show for so long, there's, like, patterns I see with girls. And there's, like, the abuse, the abuse. 
pattern yeah. and it's like these girls will scream abuse but then when I ask questions I'll be like what I'll be like did you press charges no okay why if someone punches me in the face I'm pressing charges that right. doesn't really make sense <laughs> <laughs> and like like so what happened and they'll kind of like leave out the part where they hit him first yeah and I'm like exactly. okay if, if you guys are hitting each other that's not abuse that's just a toxic relationship y'all were yeah. hitting each other stop it stop it I will not I um, I was surprised to learn that men allow women to beat on them or hit them like that mm-hmm. uh, because I wasn't raised that way either. Mm-hmm. If, if a woman hit me like she going down, <laughs> she going down. <laughs> <laughs> I would never tolerate that. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, men and women shouldn't be fighting it. Period. Mm-hmm. But it can't be one sided like that. Mm-hmm. Because when you allow that to happen, you just bring out the worst in mm-hmm. the person. Mm-hmm. Because if they know they can hit on you or whatever, mm-hmm. and you're not going to defend yourself. Mm-hmm. They get worse. Yeah, and the girls will make excuses too. They'll yeah. be like, they'll be like, oh, it was just a toxic relationship. Like you don't know what you would do in that situation. And I'm just like, no, 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 no. I've I've been in relationships where things happened where I could have acted crazy, but now you are just insane. Stop it. Do not put all of girls in that because you're insane. I yeah. will not do that. That's amazing. I will not do that. You are either crazy or you're not crazy. You didn't act crazy. That's the other thing. They say I acted crazy. No, you're just crazy. Yeah. Like, stop it. it you are very rare. <laughs> Did you know that? Well, it's because I've been doing this show for so long. It's four times a week. So I deal with people four times a week. Right. And I just start to see these patterns. Like, where I used to really believe girls when they tell me, like, and, like, kind of feel bad for them when they tell me abuse stories. Because I think innately men and women have this, like, protection mechanism, like, right. towards women. Because it's like it's, like... The children get off the boat first, then the women, then the men, right? Right. And so I think innately on some level we all have that. And but then it's like when I hear the same story from ten different girls and none of you press charges, none of you? I'm like, <laughs> somebody's lying. Like I, this just doesn't make sense to me. Right on. I will, That's not, amazing. I will not get punched. I swear to God. Anyone punch me, I'm going to the cops. I'm a tattletale. I'm a snitch. That's Stop right. it. Stop That's what it. I tell the men. If a woman hit you, call the cop. And I don't record. care if it's your wife, you have 10 kids. Yeah. If she hit you, call the cop, mm-hmm. have her arrested, mm-hmm. and let her stay there. Mm-hmm. Don't go the next hour or so and get her out. Let her stay there. And, and record it. And record it, that's because right. Because a lot of times they'll come and they like the girl will just say, he hit him, he hit me. Yeah. So put, pull out your phone, record. So That's right. <laughs> so re- relationships between men and women mm-hmm. uh, in England. Mm-hmm. Is this the same as it is over here? Yeah. The same. same. Yeah, it's slightly, I kind of look at how modern a country is. I look at their average age of first marriage. So it's interesting, because there's some countries you'd be surprised. In Ireland, it's 35 and 34. So the higher they are, I think they're the more modern. But the UK is 31 and like 30, or 31, no, 31 and 32. The US is 27 and 28. Amazing. So I'd say it's a little bit more modern. Really? But not much. It's kind of, the, the mindset's the same. It's not... That's why I say I forget I'm in the UK sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so do you hope to get married one day and have a family? Yeah, yeah. You do? Yeah, I want a lot of kids. You want a lot? Yeah. You know, we need white babies. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 yeah? Did you know I started White History Month? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, do you go through, like, all the white countries? <laughs> well, but, yeah, like I'm Irish and German. Do we get like a day or a week in the month? Or well, how do you July celebrate? is White History Month. Okay, so July is White. I'll and we just celebrate, last July, we celebrate our fifth year uh-huh. of White History Month. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to know, like I'm Irish, German, Lithuanian, Welsh, and Polish. I'm like all the white countries. You're totally white. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to know, like, do we get like each day we talk about a different like yes. white country? Yes, we talk about oh, nice. different things that white people did to make the world great. Yeah. And I started in July because you got to admit, July just feels white. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I can see that. It's vacation. It's not, it's not, yeah, but it's not a good month for white people because we get sunburned. Yeah, I heard. Yeah, you see, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's vacation. Uh-huh. It's the 4th of July. Uh-huh. It's reflection time. Oh, okay. Reflect on the country. It's uh-huh. like you slow down and really, it's just white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 
can see that. You see that? Yeah. So will you be celebrating with us now, from now on? <laughs> yeah, sure. And so what I'm trying to do is encourage white people to make more babies. Get married uh -huh. and just have a truckload of babies. Okay. Because a lot of white women are not having babies. They're having abortions or they're not getting married and uh -huh. having children. They'd rather go off and have a career uh -huh. than to get married. So there's a report out that in, not too far away from mm -hmm. here, white people would be the uh, uh, minorities in their own countries, especially in this country. And if white people become the minority, it's over for America. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that the blacks turn everything into a ghetto? <laughs> Why do this to me? <laughs> um, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. You notice that whenever they get a nice neighborhood, they move into your neighborhood, uh -huh. it turns ghetto. Yeah, sometimes. Have you ever read, like, Thomas Sowell at all? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it's yeah. kind of like what he talks about with redneck culture. Yeah. Where um, it's like I think one out of every, or two out of every three black people came from redneck culture, where, right. like, one out of every ten white people. So I feel like it's more like the culture oh, you do. than, like, race, in my opinion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so, but that's why I'm asking white people to start making babies. Uh -huh. Because I don't want to lose my country completely. Uh -huh. Because if they don't, if they come in uh, my minorities, it's over for America. Uh -huh. All of the Western countries, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I haven't thought about that as much. Why do you think white people create and, and other people don't? What do you mean? Like, they're very, I mean, look at this country. You mm -hmm. admit that it was founded by white men, right? Mm-hmm. And with the help of God, they created the greatest country on mm -hmm. this side of heaven. Mm -hmm. But as we are losing the white people and the people of color are taking over, mm -hmm. it's becoming like a hellhole. Mm -hmm. Have you noticed that? No. no you I haven't? haven't? I haven't noticed that. <laughs> How can you admit? Why haven't you noticed it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I haven't... <laughs> I don't really have a strong, I haven't thought about it too much. Oh, you, you don't pay attention to that, things like that that much? No, no, not really. But have you noticed that white people are the most hated people on this side of heaven now? They're blamed for everything? Yeah, by a certain loud minority, I would say. I don't think most people think about this stuff too much. Oh, they don't. But I think like um, the, there's like a loud minority that just like hates white people. And yeah. I, I don't really understand why. Me but, either. But, you know. They're jealous. Possibly, yeah. <laughs> so how do you see the world today? How do I see the world today? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think that birth control caused everything that's going amok <laughs> now. Yeah. I think, I, think that I see the world as like, if this was my world and I, I was given power immediately, I would just ban birth control. You I feel would. like families would come back if we banned birth and abortion. Yeah. I think both of those things. Yeah, it definitely has a lot to do with the destruction of the family yeah. and abortion. Yeah. You're absolutely right. I, I, um, and I do believe that if we can bring back the order of the family, mm -hmm. that a lot of that stuff would disappear. Mm -hmm. What is love? What is love? I think love's a choice. A choice? Yeah. Meaning what? It's like, it's like an action. I think, I think you like choose to love people. Yeah. So it's kind of like, I don't, I don't have a good definition. I don't really think about it too much. But I think of love as like, like my parents, they love each other. But like sometimes they get really annoyed with each other and they don't want to talk to each other. <laughs> but like they still love each other because they like yeah. choose to show up and like be married every day. Have you ever been in love? Yes. You've been in love? Yes. And what was that like for you? Um, what was it like? Um... It was good. It was fun. It was good? <laughs> yeah, it was good. What is a man? A man is a biological... <laughs> a guy with a dick? I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't know. You said a guy with what? With a dick. A what? <laughs> with a dick. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> like, you don't know what a man is? No, I mean, like, it's just a guy that has guy parts. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and what is a woman? Like a girl with girl parts. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> That's amazing. Um, it shouldn't be. It should be pretty, like, it shouldn't be amazing. It should just be common sense, you know? <laughs> oh, let me ask you this, and then I got to put you on the hot seat. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the the uh, black woman that Joe Biden appointed to the U.S. Supreme Court, uh-huh. and he, he chose that woman, picked her, because she was black and female, no qu- qualification, at all. Uh-huh. And so going through the confirmation hearing, she was asked, what is a woman? And she didn't know. Oh, God. What a woman was. What do you think about that? She should be fired immediately. Yeah. I'm like, you're going to interpret the Constitution, but you don't know what a man and a woman is? <laughs> I know. And I think it's racist. I think black people should be offended by that. Anyone yeah. that hires you because you're black, like, that, that, is, that is so offensive. I totally is, agree. Like, and... Yeah, I, th- I think that's offensive. You should you should hire people because they're good at their job. Yes. And I I think it's offensive that, like, you think you need to hire people because of the color of their skin. And I, I have a whole team in Nigeria. They do a great job. Shout out Nigeria. Right. And, Shout out Nigeria. And, and it, it didn't matter. Like, none of that mattered to me. Well, I noticed that blacks mm-hmm. from other countries, when mm-hmm. they come here, mm-hmm. they work harder. They get a good education. Mm-hmm. They tend to start businesses. Mm-hmm. But the blacks that live here, because they've been spoiled by the government, mm-hmm. especially the Democratic Party, mm-hmm. they don't tend to do that because they're not as independent as the ones that come here. It wasn't always that mm-hmm. way, but it's truly like that now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I actually really like hiring Africans because their culture, they just work very hard. Yeah. Like my producers from Zimbabwe, my content team's from Nigeria. Like they just, I just think Africans have a really strong like work ethic. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> Amazing. Mm-hmm. I gotta heat this this thing up, this interview up. Okay. I'm gonna put you on the hot seat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I need you to answer these questions as quickly as possible. Oh no, okay. The hot seat. Do we need more white babies? Yes. Is it ever okay to call a woman fat? Yes. Oh I knew that one. <laughs> did you take did you take the jab? Yes, sadly. Really? Yeah. I was surprised. I didn't want to quarantine for two weeks and I went to the UK. I regret it, but yeah, I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um, And why do you regret it? Uh, I, I'm, I've been on health Twitter recently, and I've seen a lot of people dying from it, and yeah. I'm like, oh, I hope I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but I can't undo it now. I'm right, right. here. So. True or false, abortion is worse than slavery. <sighs> yes. Um, uh, did you know that I, uh, I started August as Men's History Month? No, I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah. It's our fifth year of Men's History Month as well because men are so hated. We try to get them back to order. Yeah, they, uh, that's a good idea. Should a doctor be allowed to perform assisted suicide? Mm, only if they're really old, maybe. If, like, but are sick. Only in extreme cases, but no, 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 I have to think about it. No, I changed my answer. No. Yeah. (laughs) Have you ever told another person how the cow ate the cabbage? How to what? The cow ate the cabbage. No. (laughs) Uh, Who would you rather see as president? Kanye West, Big Mama Michelle Obama, AOC, the great white hope Donald Trump, Hillary Clinton or Hunter Biden? A uh, Trump. Trump. Um, the, the bear shit in the woods. Does what? The bear shit in the woods. Yes. <laughs> Does a chicken have lips? No. Did you have fun? Yes. Thank you for coming on. Thank you for having I me. I totally enjoyed that. I'm not, other than Ann Coulter, uh-huh. you know who she is? Uh, is she a blonde, tall chick? Yeah. Yeah, I think I've seen her. I, I think you may be the second conservative, real conservative, or at least independent mm-hmm. woman I've ever met. Yeah, the most conservative women are actually conservative. They're, they're kind of like feminists still. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ann Coulter agreed with me that a woman should not have been given the right to vote. What do you think about that? Oh, I agree. You agree? Yeah, because yeah. it's freedom without responsibility. And so I don't believe in like all these waves of feminism. I just think it was one. Yeah. Because it was always we want freedom without the responsibility. If we want to vote, fine, but then get drafted. 
Personally, yeah. personally, I don't want to be drafted. I'll be, no, nah, I'll, I'll give that up. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take one for the team to get the outcomes I want. I swear to God. <laughs> That's right. Well, thank you for coming on. Yeah, thanks for Tell having me. Tell the folks how to get your podcast and everything that you're doing. Okay, you just type in Just Pearly Things on YouTube. Um, and TikTok, I'm on Just Pearly Things dot four and five because they took away my first three accounts. And um, Instagram, it's just dot pearly things. Nice. Oh, amazing. Thank you all for tuning in. I absolutely appreciate it. Don't forget to like, follow, ring the bell. We are on locals.com. So click on the video there, the link, the description link. And let me hear from you. Thank you again for tuning in and thank you for coming. Thanks, I totally man. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Amazing. <laughs>